Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a split letter font or a split letter monogram in Cricut Design Space. This is a super easy tutorial, um, so I think you all are really going to benefit from seeing this if you're new to Cricut Design Space or you've been wanting to make your own split letter alphabet with some of the fonts that you already have. So go ahead and open up a uh, blank project in Cricut Design Space. And we're going to go ahead and add uh, our letter. I'm going to add, we're going to use an N for this video. And once it gets in there, we're just going to make it bigger. Um, this font that I'm using is called Janda Truly Madly Deeply. Uh, this is available on dafont.com. Um, it is free, 100% uh, free for personal use. Um, if you want to use it to resell on commercial or anything or with uh, commercial projects or anything like that, you do need to buy a commercial license from the creator of the font. I do have that commercial license. It's actually really cheap, guys. So if you want to go buy it, all you have to do is go on to font, click inside the font that you want, and there'll be a link to the creator's page. And all you have to do is go in there and request the commercial license. I think this one was maybe like eight dollars maybe um, to have the commercial license on this but anyways uh, this is the font we're using Janda truly madly deeply so I have my letter in design space I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see it good the next thing that you want to do is you want to insert shapes or click insert shapes and then you want to grab a square and bring it in once you get your square in there, you want to click the padlock down here and you want to unlock it so that way we can move it, make it skinny, tall, wide, whatever you want to do with it. So we're going to unlock the proportions on that. Um, I usually make mine about uh, one and a quarter inches or so tall. Really doesn't matter, but... Once you get it the height you want, go ahead and drag it out. We want to drag it out um, longer than your letter. So it will look like this. Once you have that, just click Select All. And then go to Align. And then Center. And that's going to center up your box in your letter so that everything looks proportioned whenever you're finished. With everything still selected, go to your Layers panel and click Weld. This is going to combine the box and the letter. After you weld it, you have one page or uh, you have one image here. So we're going to go back to Insert Shapes and we're going to add another square. Now this time with the square, we're going to unlock it again, but we're going to have it overlapping the edges of your first square and we're going to make it a little bit skinnier. The reason that we want it to be a little bit skinnier is because we want these edges on top and bottom. We want to be able to see our first box. Um, we want to be able to have some edges on the bottom and the top and you'll see why here in just a minute. Once you get that proportioned how you like it, just go ahead and finish dragging it all the way to the other end and overlap the other edge of your initial box that you put in there. So this looks good. Okay, once you get it all lined up, click Select All, and then click over in your Layers panel, click Slice. Now after you click slice, you'll have all these little pieces that you don't need. Just move them out of the way and delete them. We don't need those. And voila, there you go. You have your split letter. Um, you know, all you have to do now is just add your text in there. Um, put, put the name that you want here. Whatever you want to put in the middle, go ahead and add it in. Um, if, you, if you're using like a small skinny font or... Maybe you're using like a big chunky font um, that you're going to use for your name right here in the middle and you need to make this space bigger. Uh, you can do that. All you have to do is like right now it's all one image. You can't ungroup it or anything like that over here. So what you can do is go back to insert shapes and grab you another square and then just well, unlock it again. And then just cover the entire bottom of your letter. 
click Select All, and click Slice again. And then move all these unwanted pieces away. You'll have a black piece back here. And then there you go. Now you have two separate pieces. So you can make this bigger if you wanted to put something chunky in there. Or if you wanted to put something tiny, you can shrink it up. And you can also select this all and you can actually group these together or attach them however you want to do it to get your final result on your decal. And that's all you have to do to make a split letter monogram or just a split letter font in Cricut Design Space. Pretty easy peasy. If you guys have any questions, just give me a tag in one of our groups and um, I can help you out. Or um, you can leave a comment on this video if you want. I can help you out there. Um, you can also visit my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Tamara S Designs. And um, my Etsy shop is also, now this isn't on in my Etsy shop. This particular font isn't, but I do have the Samantha font available in my Etsy shop. Um, it's the complete split letter alphabet A through Z of each letter of the Samantha font. Um, so that's available for purchase in my Etsy shop. And that is uh, at etsy.com slash shop slash Tamara S. Designs. You all have a good evening. Thanks for watching.